Over the years, there have been many improvements in the tools used by law enforcement professionals. These improvements have been seen in many areas, from communications to weaponry. Another law enforcement tool that has seen many changes is the police vehicle itself. 1991 marked the beginning of a new era of safety and enhanced performance for these vehicles, with a wider introduction of anti-lock braking systems, or ABS. This informational program will acquaint you with ABS, how it works, and more importantly, the safety advantages it provides the police officer. Statistics provided by police agencies across the country show that many accidents occur in situations where vehicle control is lost due to wheel lockup during sudden or hard braking conditions. Conditions that many police officers must be prepared to face daily. In order to understand the anti-lock brake system, let's first look at a conventional brake system that has been in use for over 50 years. When pressure is applied to the brake pedal, the system applies force to all brakes simultaneously. This is today's brake system with the ABS feature. It is designed to help keep the vehicle wheels rotating as the brakes are applied and assist the driver in achieving a controlled stop. With ABS, sensors monitor how fast the wheels are rotating, continuously feeding this information to an onboard computer. In a braking situation, if the computer determines that a wheel is about to lock up, it sends a signal to the hydraulic modulator to automatically adjust brake pressure several times a second as required. This allows the driver to retain steering control while providing a higher braking force on most surfaces than a locked wheel provides. ABS is an added feature to a brake system. In the event that the ABS feature is disabled, the vehicle will continue to have use of its conventional brake system. In the next few minutes, we'll look at some demonstrations that were developed from input by police officers across the country. These demonstrations were done with an active state police vehicle with 5,000 miles on it. The demonstrations were conducted at the General Motors Proving Grounds in Milford, Michigan. The drivers are state police officers. Their demonstrations will highlight the enhanced control features of an ABS-equipped patrol car. The officer's first demonstration will be stopping on a wet surface from a speed of 50 miles per hour, first without ABS. Now with ABS. It is important to point out that during an ABS-assisted deceleration, you'll feel a noticeable pulsation or vibration of the brake pedal. This is to be expected and is an indication that the brake system is in the ABS mode of operation. Here, the driver will attempt to stop while negotiating a tight curve at a speed of 85 miles per hour without the aid of ABS. Here, he'll attempt the same stop at 85 miles per hour with ABS. As you can see, with ABS, the officer is able to control his steering while braking in the curve. Here is a similar situation faced by officers in rural communities, stopping on a gravel surface from a speed of 60 miles per hour without ABS. Now, with ABS. Now, an officer will demonstrate stopping on an irregular surface with the ABS feature. The vehicle speed is 50 miles per hour. In certain circumstances, such as going over a series of bumps or railroad tracks, with the brakes applied, ABS-equipped vehicles may decelerate more slowly. 
If this happens, maintain full brake pressure. Never pump the brake pedal. The next demonstration highlights the enhanced directional control of an ABS-equipped police vehicle. In this case, last-second instructions for a right or left turn are radioed to the officer as the vehicle approaches an obstruction at 50 miles per hour. First, without ABS. Left. Now, with ABS, again at 50 miles per hour. ABS allows the officer to steer around the obstruction while braking. The officer will now demonstrate a series of high-speed panic stops from speeds of approximately 100 miles per hour. On this first run, he will attempt a panic stop without the use of ABS and will try to avoid wheel lockup. He will now attempt the same stop with the aid of ABS. Here, the officer will try the same panic stop without the aid of ABS, attempting full wheel lockup. It is important to note the extreme tire damage caused during this stop without ABS. To further emphasize how ABS adds to vehicle control by allowing drivers to steer in a hard braking situation, let's look at a panic stop while trying to avoid an object in the road at a speed of 50 miles per hour. First, without ABS. Now, with ABS. This example simulates stopping with the right tires on dry pavement and the left tires on ice from a speed of 50 miles per hour. First, without ABS. Here, with ABS. As you can see, the ABS feature allows the officer to maintain control of the situation. An example of this in the field is stopping half on a gravel shoulder and half on pavement. The vehicle speed is 60 miles per hour. We did not attempt this stop without the aid of ABS. As you've seen, ABS improves the officer's ability to better control the vehicle during hard braking situations by providing improved steering control and, in many cases, shorter stopping distances. ABS does not, however, overcome the laws of physics. Stopping distances and vehicle control are functions of road surfaces, tire condition, vehicle speed, steering inputs, and other factors. We hope that this program has provided you with a better understanding of why ABS was developed and how it improves the safety of police vehicles. Just as with any other new tool, nothing can replace getting to know your car's capabilities than by thoroughly reviewing your owner's manual and getting behind the wheel.